Vladimir Valentin was born on July 2nd, 1984 in Williamstad, Curacao. Valentin started playing baseball around 7 years old, and when he was 14, his mother had to leave Curacao for work, but Vladimir decided to stay on the island to pursue a career in baseball. When he was 16, the Seattle Mariners organization signed Valentin as an international amateur free agent. He played alongside future major leaguers like Adam Jones throughout the Mariners minor league system in Arizona, Wisconsin, Inland Empire, and Tacoma. He played in the 2007 All-Stars Future Game in San Francisco, in large part to his immense raw power potential. In 682 minor league games, Valentin hit 147 home runs with an 871 OPS, good enough to earn him a September call-up in 2007. In his first major league at bat, he pinch hit for Jose Guillen and doubled off Yankees reliever Luis Vizcaino, driving in two runs. A few weeks later, in just his third career at bat, he pinch hit for Guillen again and this time homered off Indians reliever Tom Matsney. He followed up that at bat with a sacrifice fly, capping off his first taste of the majors with four RBIs in just three games. There were clear holes in his contact ability and defensive prowess, but Ballantine was off to a hot start in his career nonetheless. The following year, Ballantine was called back up to the Major League squad on April 30th, earning his first career start in right field, hitting 7th in the lineup. He went 2 for 4 and homered off Cliff Lee in his Cy Young winning season, in which he only surrendered 12 homers in 223 innings that entire year. Valentin was now 4 for 7 with a double and 2 home runs and 7 RBIs in just 4 games to kick off his MLB career. Unfortunately, things went downhill from there. He became a regular in right field, starting in all but 2 games for the team in May of that year, but only managed to hit 4 doubles and 4 homers that month, while striking out 30 times. His struggles continued into June, where he was sent back down to AAA after posting just a 196, 265, 346 slash line in his 32 game major league stint. He was called back up in August and performed quite a bit better, getting a hit in 12 of his first 14 games back with the Mariners, but he failed to maintain consistency, finishing the season with a 592 OPS and just 7 home runs in 71 major league games. In July of the following year, Valentin was traded to the Cincinnati Reds after managing only a slight improvement in Seattle with a 625 OPS in 56 games. He showcased much more success after the trade, hitting 264, 352, 437, and a 105 OPS plus in 40 games with the Reds. In the last game of the season, Valentin smoked a 495 foot home run off the Pirates' McCutcheon, not that one, this one, for his seventh home run of the year and the 15th of his Major League career. That proved to be his last game ever in the Majors, as he spent all of 2010 in AAA Louisville before signing with the Tokyo Yoko Swallows of the Nippon Professional Baseball League on November 16th of that year. Ballantine was joining a Swallows team that finished a respectable 72-68-4 in 2010, but that lacked clear thump in the lineup as their team leader in home runs only had 16 and the team as a whole hit 102 fewer home runs than the third place Yomiuri Giants. He was seemingly a perfect fit for the Swallows as they required both an upgrade in the outfield and new foreign talent, and the team valued both Ballantine's raw power and defensive arm. In his first year in Tokyo, Ballantine led the Central League in homers with 31, in a season that proved to be incredibly pitching friendly. On May 13th, he hit three home runs in one game and won May's Player of the Month award after putting up a 397 average with six homers and 14 RBIs. He struggled for the rest of that year, but maintained an impressive home run pace nonetheless, finishing the year at 228, 314, 469 with 3.3 war in 140 games. The following season, he hit yet another league-leading 31 home runs, but this time did so in just 106 games and upped every facet of his game, lowering his strikeout rate from 23.6% to 21.8%, increasing his walk rate from 11% to 15.2%, and raising his OPS by an entire 170 points from 783 to 958, as he put up a 187 weighted runs created plus and 4.1 war. Ballantin was taking Japan by storm, making the All-Star game and leading his club to the playoffs in both seasons. But even those who recognized Ballantin's power could not have foreseen his 2013 campaign. 
Valentin missed the first few weeks of the season after getting injured, representing the Dutch national team at the 2013 World Baseball Classic. As of April 23rd, the Yokohama DNA Bay Stars first baseman Tony Blanco had 12 home runs, 10 more than Valentin at that point in the season, and there was not much attention on Valentin. But after hitting 6 homers in May, then exploding for 11 homers in June and 9 homers in July, Valentin was at 34 home runs for the year, closing the gap on Blanco to just 3, and creating a heated home run title race. Then. August came around and Valentin stepped on the gas. He hit 8 home runs in just the first half of the month. But it didn't end there. He would go on to hit another 10 home runs in the second half of the month, setting a new MPB record for home runs in a single month at 18, breaking Hiromitsu Kadota's record of 16 in a month, which he set in July of 1981. Valentin had 4 multi-homer games that month and entered September at 52 home runs, three shy of the all-time single season record set by the legend Sadaharu O oh and tied by Tuffy Rose and Alex Cabrera. He cooled down in the first week of September, but got back on board with three home runs in three games to tie the record at 55, with several weeks still remaining in the season. <laughs> <laughs> And it was only a matter of time before a new single season home run king stood atop of Japan. And on September 15th, the time finally came. プロ野球の in front of a crowd of over 30,000 fans and his mother at the Swallows Jingu Stadium, Valentin took Daiki Enokita deep for his 56th homer of the year. He hit his 57th home run in the very next at bat to break Lee Sung Yup's all Asian single season home run record, which he set in 2003 with the Samsung Lions of the KBO. In October, he hit his 60th and final home run of the year. The Swallows finished in dead last that season, sporting the worst record of all 12 MPB teams, but Vladimir Valentin's record-breaking season seemed to captivate the fan base more than enough. He ended up beating Tony Blanco in the home run race by 19 jacks after trailing by 10 in April and 3 at the end of July. His final season stat line was as impressive as one would expect batting 330, 455, 779 for a clean 1.234 OPS with 8.6 war and a 229 weighted runs created plus in 130 games and he won the Central League MVP award. Compared with Barry Bonds' record-breaking 73 home run season, Bonds hit a home run every 6.5 at-bats while Valentin homered every 7.3 at-bats. Then MPB commissioner Ryozo Kato was later forced to resign after it came out that the balls in 2013 were in fact juiced, likely to compensate for the low offensive environments in previous seasons. So while Valentin may have had some help in breaking Sadaharu's O record that stood for 49 years, the achievement was unforgettable regardless. Valentin hit 31 home runs in 112 games the following year, 29 fewer than his record-breaking campaign, which interestingly is similar to Barry Bonds who hit 27 fewer home runs after his own record-breaking season. Since 2013, Valentin has topped out at 38 home runs in a season. He left the Swallows after 2019, now eligible as a domestic Japanese player and no longer being considered a foreigner for his decade of service in Japan. He signed with the Soft Bangkoks and finally won a championship, although he hit just 9 home runs with a 607 OPS in 60 games with his new team and seems to be reaching the end of his playing days. To date, Vladimir Valentin has 991 hits with 297 home runs and a career 919 OPS in the NPB, but he will always be remembered as a kid from Curacao who pursued his dreams and broke Sadaharu O's seemingly unbreakable record in 2013. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more MPB content in English.